one thing that's been helpful that I did is purchase this storage tray and then I marked on the front the part numbers that were in it. I put a little guide that came with the kit and with the parts. And then you can see I marked each one with masking tape the actual part number. Now this drawer in particular is housing lowercase a parts 1 through 20. I did that with each identifiable grouping of parts. Now some of them I've used. There's the B. I'm completely done with those. Here's a few uh, extra bones in case I need them. Then I put them in here alphabetically. That's been a great help. I finished the lighting on the lower deck and what I ended up doing was taking I took the solid copper out and put in stranded copper and then I could take the tip of this and separate those wires and insert the contacts for the lights in between the wires and it made it easier to solder them. If you're interested in that type of light uh, this is the packet. I think there are about a hundred in here and it just says yellow rated uh, voltage 2 volts this is what the light actually looks like so this is the actual light itself one lead is shorter than the other that's to identify positive and negative it did come with the resistors but as I understood it um, it would take one resistor per LED and I didn't want to have that many because I'm going to have you know 10 lights per floor 10 to 12 so I went to a local electronics supply and they provided a resistor that would run 10 of these at, at a time one resistor per 10 lamps but I think the only difference and I'm not sure I'm not an expert on it but I think if I added an extra one or two it would slightly dim them I think that would be the only ramification. On this lowest level I put in 10 lights and in reality you're not going to see them from up above like this. You're going to see them more through the jail cells and also obviously this is during the day. I'll follow up one at night once I get to that point. But uh, they do have a nice flicker. Each one flickers independent on its own. I'm just about to the stage that I can put the second floor on. I've got a few more things I want to put on this level. Speaking of which, here's one item. I made some ball and chains. And I used the cannonballs that came with the ship because they were oversized. And you can tell I've aged these. But these were a lot bigger than the actual cannons. So about what is the proper size would be BBs. So I, I got some BBs and I'm aging those. And then I made these ball and shackle. And I'll put those on the lowest level just down the hallway. So this is a product called N-O-V-A-C-A-N, black patina, and it says it's for solder and, and lead, but I found that it will darken anything. It darkens chains, anything metallic. Now it is uh, poison and can cause burns, and the vapor can be harmful, so make sure you have adequate ventilation. And it's in plastic, so it's safe in plastic. It probably would eat glass. Sometimes I will add water to it and dilute it down a little bit. Obviously it's an acid base. So we'll see if it works on these metals. The first batch darkened so quickly I didn't even get the camera set up. So I'll show you close-ups when I'm done, but let me uh, put in another group. 
Okay, maybe this time what I'll do is dip and show you how it starts. See, it's starting to change already, so I can decide how much darkness I want to have. So I have two cups of water. So rinse in the first, and then give a second rinse. Add the second deck in place, and you can kind of see through. Here's my ball and chains on that wall, and just compartments, I guess. Had some trouble getting this to be in the right place, so I ended up taking a, like a Dremel tool and making these cutouts a little bit larger. This piece on the front, it had me install, this is part number three, it's a triangular, let me take this out. You can see the shape here. I went ahead and beveled this off. Then this is actually two pieces, and the one with the decoration goes towards the front. One other thing on this, there are two little edge pieces right here that are somewhat connected, but I had one fall off, so I thought you were supposed to take them off. But I think they're supposed to stay on. So if you notice this right along the edge on both ends, right here, you can see a little seam, and there's another one right over here. Leave those attached. Another addition that I've made for the very lowest level Here's my mop and bucket, and then the next cell, let me try and focus this bit. I don't know if you can see in that cell or not, but there's a little skeleton figure in there. He's made out of real bones, not human bones though. Before I put the deck on, I want to revisit the lighting. This is much heavier wire than what I needed. I wish I would have just done three strands of wire and I could have done the same thing. Also, you need to separate them out. I had forgotten that this deck has holes in it. And right here where you can see I've made it kind of brown, that's right on the edge. I'm leaving it. I could redo it. But I should have scooted and gone along, right along the edges of the jail cells. So that's just something to make note of. On the next level up, I'm using a lot smaller wire. I'm using three strands of the copper. And then uh, this red is going to go for the lanterns at the back of the ship. And then the other side, you know, one's positive, one's the negative side. So I'm ready to, to install the lower deck for the crew. And... I'll get that glued in place. For this I'm going to use wood glue. Okay, so I'm just going to put wood glue where I th wherever I think it should be. Now I need to weight that down. There's some ton oil. Polyurethane. Oh, this is perfect. When I was building the lowest level of the ship, I had a camera technical issue, so I did not discuss these supports very well, so I will on this level. These cross supports are on the B placard B boy. They were not marked well at all. There were only a few that I could actually get the number off of. So what I had to do is put them in their place based on size, and some of them are very similar, so you you just have to keep working back and forth until you get them to be placed 
in exactly the right spot. So that's what I've done now. This is the back of the ship. It starts with 15 and goes up to 4. 4B is a kind of a unique shape and I had to sand a little bit. There's a notch that goes in on this little round piece to the front. So I'll zoom this in and, and let you take a look at it. But I wanted to, to try and clarify. But everything does fit in quite nicely. And so if I number these, uh, it starts with 4B, then there's a gap here. And I'm sure there's a piece that will go there. I just have not lo located it yet. So at the front of the ship, up here, this starts with 4B, and it's just a small piece. I can probably take it out. And here's the notch that I was talking about that I had to sand the two edges. That fits right in that slot. And then what I've done is I've masking taped each one of these kind of in place so that I would know that I was right. And I did have to switch a couple of them around as I was doing. So you go from 4B, this will be 5B, so I have to find that piece yet. And then the rest are numerical, up to 15. As you can see, I just located 5B. It's on a small plaque all by itself. It contains 13C, 6C, and 5B as in boy. So I'll have to stain this and then I'll put it on the ship. The next area that I'll be working on there are these little holes and they are posts and they're all off of the C card. Another hint that you'll know that you have these supports in the right places, the notches will, will match up. So there's two notches. Each one of these all have two and they match the holes. And then when you get to the, towards the back of the ship, it goes to just one notch. So I have things glued in place. Here's the set of doors I was talking about in the walls, and you can see there's a notch, a notch, and then no notches, and there's a duplication of that over here. Well, except this has two doors, this only has one, but there's no instructions on this part, but I have located where they go. If you notice, this is a small notch and a large notch, and this is the, now the front of the ship I've turned turned it around you can see there's a small notch the large notch so one goes there and the other now I'm going to the back of the ship and I think you can see there's a small notch and the large notch so I'll put those in place I'm ready to glue all these in I have uh, let's see it was five wasn't it five B so there's 4B, now 5B is in place, and I'm set to glue all of that and at least put two of the walls in place. The other two I have not decided yet where they go. Now that all these cross members have dried, I can start putting in the support posts. I had marked each pair of support posts with masking tape, and starting at the front of the ship, the first two are 4C. And for these, I'm going to use the clear glue. I already have five in place. And these are all out of the C pack. I might also mention I always go with the grain that matches the, the wood it's going into, if that makes sense. So the more finished nice edge is in between here. ship working back you can see all the supports are in place so are the posts 